Hey everybody, uh, it's a great pleasure to be in Taipei uh, with uh, Wu Jianming, who's a research fellow at Academia Sinica. We're here in his office uh, and we're going to talk about some of his recent work. Thank you, Ashley. Thank yeah. you for being willing to do I'm this. I'm so happy to see you again for many years apart. No. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Yeah. From Taipei. <clears throat> So it's great to be here with you. Uh, it's great to talk about some of your new work. Uh, uh, Jianming has been working really hard on a couple of new books um, that we're going to plug right now. Uh, so they're they're there for everybody to to know about. Um, this one came out in 2021 yeah. uh, with Ravage, China's influence in the center periphery of the tu the tug of war in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Indo Pacific. Um, great stuff in here. Uh, and this one. You want to tell them about it? Massive Labor of Love. Um, long, long time in the making. Uh, a translation of his work in Chinese called Rival Partners, How Taiwanese Entrepreneurs and Guangdong Officials Forged the China Development Model. So, and this one just out. Yes. This month. Harvard University Press just out. So lots of great work hot off the press. Uh, I'm wondering if you can talk to us about, uh, maybe we'll start with China's influence. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Uh, so this book uh, deals with China's influence, not just in Taiwan, but Hong Kong and yeah. Indo-Pacific. Mm -hmm. What are some of the ways that um, China is seeking to influence uh, Taiwan, mm -hmm. and how does that compare to efforts elsewhere? Yeah, okay. Um, the very idea, the origin of this book is I, you know, I went to Hong Kong many, many, many times over the last decade, and uh, I found that, you know, what China did to Taiwan, you know, has already done to Hong Kong, mm -hmm. even before Taiwan. Okay, and I, I discussed with my Hong Kong friends, activists, scholars, and we found this a common theme between Taiwan and Hong Kong under the hurricane of the China impact or mm -hmm. the China factor, so so to speak. So we decided to cooperate on this issue. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that was quite early. It's mm -hmm. 2015. Also. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, Brian Fong, uh, the Hong Kong scholar, and, mm -hmm. and me, we decided to work on this project. And in the very beginning, we just thought about Hong Kong, Taiwan. Mm -hmm. we, we want to uh, compare Hong Kong cases with, with Taiwan's. Mm -hmm. and then we want to, uh, uh, you know, induce, distill some uh, commonalities mm -hmm. from both places. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the first. First step, mm -hmm. yeah. But on the way, we found that the cases uh, from Taiwan and from Hong Kong can be applicable to mm -hmm. other countries. Mm -hmm. To other countries, mm -hmm. say like you know, say like uh, Australia. Mm -hmm. Okay, Australia found the Aussies found their country was heavily influenced by the Chinese mm -hmm. in 2017, mm -hmm. and uh, it it did not happen on you know overnight. You right. know. It, it's right. been for a long time, right. and they found this uh, a specific uh, uh, process for the Chinese government to influence the Australian communities, and then uh, you know try to penetrate those influences into the political arena mm -hmm. and, and influence the, the politicians. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the the path they found is they use the Chinese, you know. Tong Zan Bu Man, the mm -hmm. United Front mm -hmm. yeah, or Department, department. Yeah, yeah. they use the Chinese immigration, mm -hmm. they use Chinese uh, ethnic Chinese communities mm -hmm. as a bridge to get into the, the Australia party. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this model, the past already applied to Hong Kong and Taiwan. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that uh, there's about five, maybe five also percent. Of the total population uh, originally from from China, or they are new immigrants from mm -hmm. China. Mm -hmm. Okay, they they stayed five percent mm -hmm. also. Okay, we can check mm -hmm. numbers, mm -hmm. and they use this five percent of Chinese communities as the as the as the north mm -hmm. north as mm -hmm. the north mm -hmm. to to deliver influence. Mm -hmm. Okay, but back to the case of Hong Kong and Taiwan, you can recall the whole society is a big. Chinese-speaking community, right. right? 
Okay, so it's even much more convenient to convey, you know, the ideas mm -hmm. of the Chinese nationalism or to use material incentives to mm -hmm. right. to find out right. the local media. That's right. Outlet. That's right. Okay, so let's take uh, the case of Taiwan. Uh, what are some of the things that Taiwan has done in response to efforts to influence you the political situation here? Push back. That's right. That's right. What are some of the things that have happened? Uh, maybe at the level of civil mm. society or oh, yeah. know, higher levels. That's right. What, yeah. what has been happening? Okay, uh, people uh, heard about the, the sunflower movement mm -hmm. in 2014. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a pushback against the CCP and the Kuomintang. Mm -hmm. and the government then is is Kuomintang. Okay, mm -hmm. the CCP came to a cooperation platform. Okay, mm -hmm. and this platform was you know established quite early. Uh, way back to 2005. Mm. 2005. Okay. When Chen Shui bian was president. That's right. right. That's the second term of Chen Shui bian and, mm -hmm. and you know, Lian Zhan, mm -hmm. you know, uh, ran for the president mm -hmm. for the second time. He yeah. failed. Yeah. Just he by failed. It. Yeah. Just by a bit. Yeah. That's right. But uh, two uh, 2004, right? Mm -hmm. Then 2005, in March, Beijing enacted a new law against Taiwan, it's called anti-succession law. Right. Okay, targeting Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And then, maybe it's surprise or not surprise, that came, the Lianzhan led a, a, a big delegation uh, composing of more than 100 members of the high level officials of KMT right. to visit right. Beijing, okay? Right. And then met with Hu Jintao, then mm -hmm. the leader of China. Right. And they establish a, a new platform for Wukong mm -hmm. the CCP KMT cooperation. It's called the third time of historical cooperation. You know, the first time is is during this uh, the Beifa, the North Expedition. Uh -huh. You know, the, the right. unified yeah. China. Yeah, Chiang Kai-shek, Chiang Kai-shek, uh, Chiang, Chiang, Chiang Kai -shek, yeah. and then the, we heard about the Zhou Enlai, right? And mm -hmm. that cooperation is under the tutelage of the Soviet. Union, mm -hmm. the Sudan Gongshan That's the first time. The second time is during the, uh, the war against Japan. Right, okay? right. And this one, the third time of cooperation between Kuomintang and uh, Gongshan Dao, mm -hmm. CCP KMT cooperation, targeted whom? Targeted the, the Taiwan's uh, indigenous political force. Right. It's against the, the Taiwan independence mm -hmm. uh, forces. Right. So and in 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 the eye of uh Dao, Beijing, the uh, Min Jintang, DPP uh, government is is against China and mm -hmm. pro Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So that's a target to eradicate, you know. Right, right. <clears throat> okay. So so that's the origin of the cooperation mm -hmm. between the KMT and and, and CCP, mm -hmm. and then in. 2012, remember? 2012. 12, yeah. In 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 spring, mm -hmm. there was the presidential elections. Right. And and the legislative mm -hmm. elections. Mm -hmm. Okay. During that election, the, there are there are about scores of tycoons. They are Taiwanese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They they are bosses of Taiwanese enterprises, mm -hmm. and they they had business in China too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those tycoons. You know, stood up to promote 1992 consensus. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and Zhou Gongsu yeah. means, you know, for Beijing. Right. There's only one China, That's one China right. principle, and Taiwan's a part of China. That's right. right. So so when you say Zhou Gongsu, you means you are loyal to the idea, you're loyal to Beijing regime. Okay? Because during that time, the Chinese market is still a great lure. Mm -hmm. to to the Taiwanese oh, businesses. Indeed, yes. That's right. Okay. So in that election we found about maybe five to ten percent of the voters, they are called the economic voters. Uh -huh. The medium voters That's right. they switched. That's right. You know, their voting behavior. Mm -hmm. You know. Because they are convinced without uh, 1992 consensus the, 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 the peace and prosperity in the Taiwan Strait would be rocked. <laughs> okay, so that's a big, big success of this 
of joint operations between the two parties on both sides. Okay, mm -hmm. then there was pushback from mm -hmm. the civil society. Right. Okay. So in the same year, there was an anti-media uh, monster uh, campaign That's against, right. against That's one right. one group. So <clears throat> you know one one group? Yes. Yes. Okay. One one yes, group. Yes. One, one one is a company from Taiwan, and then they made a fortune in the mainland, mm -hmm. and they. Uh, Selling crackers, right? Yeah, Selling yeah, yeah. Big gun, uh, yeah, yeah. Okashi <laughs> in Japanese. <laughs> okay, big gun and cheese mm -hmm. Soda. Soda and crackers. Crackers, yeah, yeah. Rice crackers. Then the one one group came back to Taiwan to buy the media outlets. You mm -hmm. know, China Times. Right. You know, uh, Zhongtian Dian Shi CTI mm -hmm. television station. And other media outlets, okay. And the, the, the one one group, the one one media group became a loudspeaker for Beijing, okay. So yeah. you can see. So that year, the, the students and the civic groups and other you know scholars, yeah, maybe you can count me as one of them. <laughs> we we spoke, we we, mm -hmm. we spoke out, and we we, we 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 thought we should do something to to defend our democracy mm -hmm. from backside. That's right. Okay, so 2012, there's the anti-media uh, monster movement. Then the next year, uh, the KMT government signed an agreement with the mainland, and it's called the Cross Trade Services uh, Agreement. Right. Trade Agreement. Yes. Okay, and it, it, it of course, it is not good for Taiwan. In terms of in terms of Taiwan's economy and also political autonomy mm -hmm. in the future, mm -hmm. all right. So so since then, many more social groups, NGOs, were mobilized to support this anti-service uh, uh, trade agreement mm -hmm. movement. Mm -hmm. It's called Fan uh, Fan Fu Mao Yun Dong, mm -hmm. and that Fan Fu Mao Yun Dong evolved into the Sunflower. Occupation movement. Right, right. Uh, some uh, some hundred students and young guys stormed into a chamber of the Di Fa Yuan, the village in the Yuan, and they occupied the chamber for how long, you know? Three and a half weeks, wasn't it? 24 days. Uh -huh. Okay. So that action, that big event, uh, disrupted the, the KMT CCP platform cooperation for good until now. Okay. Virtually disrupted. Mm -hmm. there, there, there is still some cooperation right now, mm -hmm. yeah, but this not the effective function to influence the agenda in the current stream. Okay, okay so, so so this is pushback and yeah, another a, another typical yeah. case. Okay, because you know the, the, the China does do one thing, Tongzhan, one Tongzhan to Taiwan, they they succeed, right? Mm -hmm. Then we know we should we should push back. We should. Defend. We gotta learn, right? Mm -hmm. So we we have another round of evolution. Mm -hmm. So we, we push back with the uh, Sunflower Movement, mm -hmm. right? right? And then 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 the civil society in Taiwan succeeded. Mm -hmm. Then the Chinese side will have to evolve, you know, to 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 take out another weapon right. against Taiwan. Right. And guess what? What is what? What is that this time? The second round. Well, we've had a raft of trade sanctions of late, but that's probably not what you have in mind. Um, you know, you know, be, uh, before the sunflower, the the uh, the major the, uh, the the major means is the um, material incentive to 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 buy you out. Right? Oh, right, right. That's right. Yeah. And then this is kind of you know out of the question. Yeah, because of the pushback, right? Mm -hmm. Then the next round they use the this information warfare. Right. Okay. Right. And we include included that topic in our edit model. Mm -hmm. Okay. The the disinformation and uh, uh, how they use the the local Taiwan media outlets as a collaborate uh -huh. with them. Okay. That, that's right. This is also an area where civil society has engaged in fact checking yes. and, and pushed back against fact efforts checking, to yeah, circulate yeah. information in social media that's that's inaccurate that's right. and harmful. 
even to yeah. civil public discourse. So, so that big, big incident happened in 2018. Okay, in that year, it's a local elections year. Okay, and and six months, eight months before that, Taiwan was overwhelmed by the disinformation warfare. And one incident is called the Kansai Airport incident. Hmm. Did you hear about that? I have not actually. Kansai okay, Airport there was there was a typhoon, typhoon. Uh -huh. The typhoon, uh, it, the typhoon, uh, 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 you know, uh, impacted uh, Japan mm -hmm. and some part of Taiwan. Okay, uh -huh. and the Kansai, the Osaka Kansai Airport was, uh, 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 you know, uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, destroyed and dysfunctional. Okay, right. the yes. bridge, the bridge linking the mainland and the airport was broken. Okay, uh -huh. so some. So tourists were stuck in the airport, including Chinese mm -hmm. and some Taiwanese. Okay, now you know about uh, the Chinese Zhan Nan. Zhan Nan. Zhan Nan. Uh, the Chinese uh, uh, wolf, wolf, wolf warrior yeah, diplomacy. Wolf, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, wolf warrior diplomacy. Okay, mm -hmm. and they they propagated that we already sent our buses into the airport to rescue our guys, our our patriots. Right. from China, but it's not true because the bridge was broken. Nobody could get into the airport, right? right. Yeah, right. They wait on, on the mainland, you know, and, and the Japanese authorities send the tourists to the shore, right? Okay, that's that's a true story, but the, yeah. but, but the, the Chinese, you know, tweak that story for their favor. So, so, so you can see they have a, a, a discourse that, uh -huh. that we uh -huh. We're going to save our, save our compatriots, uh, that's right. uh, not exactly special ops, but heroic action during that's a time right. of crisis. Yeah. Just like the Zanna movies, the Wolf Warrior movies. Yeah, exactly. Then they edit one sentence. They say, our Taiwanese compatriots can get on our bus if you say you are Taiwanese. Ah, okay, right. because Taiwanese is a you're part of the Zhukuo, the right. motherland. Part of the ancestral yeah, land. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the motherland, the fatherland right. impress our Taiwanese compatriots. That's right. Okay, and it's not true either. Okay, but this false information, you know, was just like explosive in the social media, in, 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 in Taiwan's local mainstream media outlets. Mm. Okay, then the Taiwanese diplomats or you know, Censured mm. by the social media, mm. by by the by, by some Taiwanese people and mm. the political parties, mm. and and they they they, are, they they argue that our diplomats are not working hard enough. So we can see how much tremendous pressures you know put on our diplomats right. in Japan. That's right. Okay, so right. that 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 caused to a huge political crisis. Because the, the DPP government wasn't comp uh, competent in rescuing mm -hmm. our people, mm -hmm. and, and you, mm -hmm. you let Beijing to do this, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's a big crisis. Right. So right. And, and, and there's some internal strife in, in the party. So the top diplomat, you know, Taiwan uh, position in, in Osaka committed suicide. Oh. Oh my gosh, right? Under the tremendous tremendous pressures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you can see how how sad. And how it, it, toxic, you know. How toxic be. Yeah. and, and this it are disastrous yes. to Taiwan's local politics. Okay. So so that's only one of the the major disinformation warfare. Mm -hmm. That China, you know, conducted against Taiwan in mm -hmm. that year. An earlier prominent one that that was earlier and, and uh, yeah, before the election. Before the election, it, of course, um, when there are many allegations of Chinese influence in, in yeah. the election by social media. As yeah, well. and also that year we witnessed the surge of Han Yu. You heard about Han Yu, Mr. Han Guo Yu, right. as candidate That's for right. Kaohsiung mayor yeah. election, right? He yeah. got he, he got elected. And it, it's it's a it's a big success for the KMT. Right. 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 Okay. And and you, you remember Han Guo Yu then ran for president. Ran for president. It yeah. didn't work out great for him. No. No. Yeah. And 
wasn't able to keep his position as mayor either. Yeah, yeah, because he was he caught. Right. <laughs> Bobby. Yeah. So you can see the year, that year, 2018. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, 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 uh, it's a tour de force for Beijing. Right. To to conduct this information warfare. Right. Big issue, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in the next year, there was the civil society mobilization, you know, to defend Taiwan's democracy and sovereignty. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, starting in June, there was Hong Kong's you know, anti-sedition movement, mm -hmm. and that impacted Taiwan a lot, too. You know? Right, the anti-extra... Um, uh, 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 extradition, extradition yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, protests right. leading to the democratic protests. Yes, yes. Of Great Town. Yeah, yes. Yeah, Big yeah. impact on Taiwan's yeah. political that, situation. That campaign was un unprecedented in Hong Kong. You know, lasted for more than six months. Yeah. And the, the Hong Kong police arrested about ten thousand people. That's and a many lot many of people. them are, are young young guys. Yeah. Even some, you know, high school students, even even primary school students. Young kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And it did seem like the outcome of that was a strong return for the DPP, the Min Jintang, Democratic Progressive Party, in the legislative elections and in the presidential elections. Yes, uh, you know, in 2020. Yeah, just, you know, partly because of the Hong Kong protest. Mm -hmm. Because in Taiwan, the young generations think that today's Hong Kong, maybe tomorrow's Taiwan, you know, mm -hmm. if we don't defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so since June, July, the that the, the local campaign for Hong Kong also you know become a boost for for President Tsai's election. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's interesting now, though, is that we see sort of a change uh, in popular sentiment vis-a-vis um, mm -hmm. -vis the DPP. The DPP has just lost a bunch of local elections again. Yeah. Does this have anything to do with Taiwan's relationship with China or China's efforts to influence what's happening here? Yeah, indeed. DPP suffer uh, a fiasco in these local yeah. elections. Yeah, true. Yeah, but uh, I, I, we still don't know the outcomes of that. You know, we don't know this. Uh, another one go Kantong. Wang go Kan is the, the fear of losing one's country. Right. Mobilization. Right. During 2019. Yeah. And how about? Next year, we, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. And uh, but some people think that you know, these local elections, especially, especially for for international media or or foreign scholars, they tend to think this election is about China, but it's not about China mm -hmm. because this is a local election, local level election. Right. Okay. So the voters didn't think about China. They they don't put China in there. You know mindset at least for most people mm -hmm. so the, this edition is more about the local factions local machines you know mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know the local politicians they are doing service mm -hmm. to the people every day so so some candidates and i guess you know it, it's not guess it's true many candidates uh, are pmd candidates and you know some were uh, prosecuted <laughs> or corruption, but they still got the elections. Ah, ah. Say like in my hometown, Yilan, Yilan. the mayor of Yilan County. She was prosecuted for corruption, mm. but she still got elected. Mm. So you can see, you can see how the, the, the local voters think about <laughs> these elections. That's right, that's right. So, but, but I think, I mean, one takeaway for uh, our viewers is that uh, if this wasn't about China, uh, it was really about what's happening in Taiwan, then Taiwan's mobilization uh, against Chinese influence has been successful over these last couple of years. Yes. Uh, the struggle will obviously continue, um, but that, that sort of fell out of the, mm -hmm. um, the political consideration mm -hmm. for this election um, does kind of mean that, um, that there, uh, there is a moment of silence on the issue of Chinese influence. I agree. Uh, I agree. That, that you, you know, in, maybe a positive thing in light of what is obviously a setback for the DPP. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe a, maybe a good setback for DPP for them to uh, become more alert mm -hmm. against the international situation. You know, you know, the whole 
international society is worried about the geopolitical risk in the yes. Afghan state. Right? Yes. Okay, so you know what? One or two weeks before the election, actually the leaders of DPP try to mobilize the voters and, and try to convince them that this is a, an election about China. Okay, mm -hmm. can't talk about that, mm -hmm. to resist mm -hmm. China and defend Taiwan. Uh -huh. But it obviously didn't succeed. That's right, that's okay. right. So yeah. they, they, they didn't make a you know successful case. They tried to play an old card uh, no, no, in a situation no, no, that no didn't, you know, it no wasn't use. applicable, so it didn't I, work well. So, so in, in here, we, we maybe found some cycles, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some high politics cycle and there's local politics cycle. And I think these local elections are uh, belonging to the to the law, you know, law politics cycle. Yeah, but hopefully next year the things will reverse. You know, so by, by this I mean that people will get more involved in the discussion of the national politics right. you know, about the the seriousness of you know expanding our military capability against China's potential right. invasion. You know, right. because people are talking about this. You know, yes. China may not invade us next year or before 24. Yeah, but in, in a five to ten period, China may be well prepared and you know, launch an all-out attack mm -hmm. against us. Mm -hmm. So we gotta be well prepared. Okay, and you know that there's some uh, civil groups they are doing mm -hmm. the civil. De defense training. That's right, that's right, yeah, including no. one led by an entrepreneur who gave up his yeah. Singaporean citizenship yeah, to yeah. start this grassroots movement to yeah. prepare Taiwan yeah, he, society he, against the Chinese yeah, invasion. He, he, he made a splash. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, because he kind of transferred his role, his role and his attitude image during the last year. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was, uh, it was eye-catching. There were plenty of stories in international media uh, about this movement by this this man yeah, who yeah, decided yeah. the time Mr. Tao, Mr. Tao, Tao, Mr. Tao, the time time had come to make a a, a big difference in, in Taiwan's military preparedness, really societal preparedness yeah. for conflict. Yeah, but he used to be a man of dispute because his company invested a lot on China mm. 10, 20 years ago mm. on semiconductors. All right, uh, but his attitude, you know, obviously has changed, changed. about what needs to be protected. Yes. Uh, in light of these pressures. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jimmy, for this really interesting conversation. And sure, I'm pleasure. so excited about all of this new work that's come out. Uh, hope people will check out these new books uh, and we'll look forward to learning much more from you about these important issues going thank forward. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Ashley.